One of the be best things about being involved in respiratory care is, is you're in a dynamic profession that offers a variety of opportunities for you. There's constantly new things that are coming up yearly, semester by semester. New changes in technology, changes in, in uh, therapies, protocols, a lot of research oriented. It's very interesting. It's not boring. The control panel is divided into four different sections. We really attract people who like science and we find they watch the uh, healthcare channels. And a lot of them like equipment. They like knowing about our breathing machines, our ventilators. For students to succeed in our program, we basically need someone that likes the sciences and did slightly average to above average in, our, in their uh, high school career. The prerequisites are making sure they have the minimum level of English and math and the, the other and having a minimum level of some type of biology and chemistry science courses, whether or not it's in high school or later on. They could have uh, algebra, that would be very good. A lot of the um, things we do in, in ventilation, uh, we, we use math to predict what uh, uh, effects our, our ventilator will have on blood gases and things like that, and it's all math. The lungs are clear, but they're almost too clear. And what that's I think students come into our program with no sense of how intense it is, and I like to tell them it's like a four-year school, a four-year degree crammed into a two-year degree. Our program currently has our own pulmonary physiology course. We have our own cardiac physiology course that goes very in-depth into both of those physiologies our students need to know. We have our own uh, pulmonary disease course and cardiac disease course. Our students have become very good at interpreting, recognizing, and treating diseases. Uh, with a, we also have some very intense laboratory courses that focus on the actual skills, where they're drawing bloods and doing some high-level therapist duties. We practice on mannequins and so on, and then eventually that carries over into clinical sites. The real jewel of our program are our clinical sites, because there they see the best at Strong Memorial Hospital, what Rochester General has, Women and Children's Hospital. A typical student would probably go through at least four or five different places for an extended period of time. So by the time they graduate, most all the students have seen the same things and they've got a good feel for what's going on here in Western New York. Now when we're putting these on, we want to put them on the patients right and left, not the way we're looking at the person. Upon graduation, our graduates have several different areas that they can go to in terms of work. Probably about 75% of their graduates go to work in hospitals and right now respiratory care is like the 15th fastest growing profession so the amount of jobs that are going to be available in the next five and ten years is going to be phenomenal. Hospitals are actively uh, recruiting graduates. Uh, there, there are sign-on bonuses, there's uh, relocation um, money uh, being given. Right now our graduates are looking at 19 to 20 dollars an hour if not more so it's really common for some of our students to start out after their two-year program at 40,000 a year what augments that is that they can work nights evenings weekends and they all pay more because of the unpopular hours okay I'm in okay don't let go what I hope the student leaves this program with is a sense of understanding that they've learned a lot yet they don't know everything we want to set them on a the road to understanding that there's so much more to learn and it takes time and experience, that it is a lifelong learning process. 